Hi, and welcome back to Plate the State. We are down in Kennebunk at the Hancock Lumber Kitchen Design Showroom, and we are so grateful that we get to film here. And speaking of gratitude, we are entering the holiday season. And first up is Thanksgiving, and today is about all things turkey. So let's go have Chef show us what to do with that bird. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so the most important question I need answered is it true that we have to wake up at 4 a.m. to get this thing in the oven? I'm gonna say no, we don't. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a cool trick on how to cook this turkey a little bit faster, but way more flavorful. Oh, good Sound good? Yes. So what we have here is you can see our turkey, right? It has been brined, okay? And so we have this bucket here of brine. I brined it probably last night and around eight o'clock. So I'm gonna show you how to make this brine ingredients. Those are all the aromatics. Mm. There's peppercorns in there, fennel seed, coriander, orange peel. I have some fresh thyme. It's like holiday potpourri. Right, Thanksgiving potpourri. <laughs> okay, that goes in the pot. And we have some of Phil's summer honey. Oh. Right, that's gonna Mixing go in there. Mixing the seasons. I'm gonna add some salt in there, okay. We wanna add some water into here, just enough to dissolve the salt and infuse all those flavors. Mm. Let them get to know each other, right? That's what we really want. <laughs> then we're gonna take that, we're gonna put it into a bucket and then fill it with about four gallons, enough to cover your turkey with cold water and then half of that amount with ice, just to keep everything nice and cold. But the best part about cooking Thanksgiving in New England is normally it's cool outside. So mm. once you have this in the bucket with brine, you can kind of leave it out there overnight. Now, Maggie, unless you want to truss it, I'm going to show you how I'm to truss it. I'm hands off on this one. Okay, okay, I'm going to show you how. You want about a couple a couple arms length of butcher's twine. And I've done this a few times, so it's going to be pretty <laughs> quick. But if you want uh, to view our website, I'll do a much more slower step-by-step -step so you can really see. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the butcher's twine in the middle, underneath the bird, even up my strings, cross in the front. I want to pull the wings in tight over the top of the bird and under the crown, cross it, then underneath the legs and around the drumsticks. And then when you pull it tight, as you can see, those legs come right out. So once you pull it tight, we're gonna flip it over, give it a couple ties. You wanna snip that off for me? Perfect. Um, I think we have the turkey pot over yes. there, right? You want to grab that perfect take that off so as you can see in here i already have some mirepoix which is just carrots celery onions i have some aromatics like some thyme some bay leaf some rosemary all right we're going to take our bird and we're going to plop him right in there i'm going to add a little bit of salt even though we brined it i'm going to add a little bit of salt not too much just on the skin Did you give me a couple cracks of pepper in there now for this bird, it's probably gonna cook for around two and a half to three hours, okay? We're gonna cover it first for about the first hour and a half. You can just use foil if you don't have a pan similar to this. I have their oven set to about 325 degrees, about an hour and a half first, and then we're gonna remove it for the second hour and a half, and that's gonna really make sure we get that nice golden brown turkey skin on there. All right, we're gonna get this in the oven, and we'll see you in a few. 